In many industrial plants, multiple devices are used to measure product or monitor environmental conditions. Whether your device is ultrasonic, photoelectric, a temperature probe, etc., to display your data correctly, it needs to be scaled. Our DXM controller allows you to scale your data and set thresholds that will set off alarms if exceeded. We'll start off by setting up a threshold. You'll find threshold under local register and action rules. Click add threshold rule and rename the rule. I'm going to name this node 1 threshold rule. Click the down arrow to expand your options. Okay, we're going to set up a threshold that will turn on a discrete output when register 5, which is the analog input on node 1, is greater than or equal to 12 milliamps, which equals a value of 39321. I'll explain where this number comes from. The registers on the DXM controller are 16 bits. Therefore, 65535 is the decimal representation of a 16-bit register. We're going to scale the register to read from 0 to 20 milliamps. When we divide 65535 by 20, it gives us 3276.75. If we times this number by 12, it gives us 39321. This number is the decimal representation of 12 milliamps. The rule we're writing says, when the value of 39321 is reached or exceeded, set local register 7 to a value of 1. We'll finish this off by saying, when local register 5 is less than 39321, set local register 7 to a value of 0. I'll now go to local registers in use and change the name and units of register 5, which is the analog input on node 1. I'll now go to scaling and select divide from the drop down menu. As I mentioned earlier, we divided 65535 by 20, which gives us 3276.75. It's important that you realize we're not changing the actual raw data in the software. We're only changing how this data will be displayed in the local register and on the LCD display. You can also scale by adding a new rule under RTU read. Click add read rule and expand the window. Then change the scale value. Note that when you scale here, you will actually scale the raw data. Also, the software will round the value down to the nearest whole number. Okay, let's go back to where we left off. I'll now edit register 7 and call it node 1 analog threshold output. This output will turn on when the analog threshold value of 12 milliamps is reached or exceeded. In order for these changes to take effect, we have to save the XML file, then send it to the controller. The green light at the bottom indicates the software is loading. I'm speeding this up so you don't have to wait. I'll go to register view, which is under tools, then populate the seven registers we set up, then click enable and begin polling. You'll notice register seven is off until the analog input reaches or exceeds 12 milliamps. Thanks for watching.